I believe uh, things might not end well in the United States of America where they're pushing the majority. Who's the majority in the United States? White people. At the end of the day, they really decide who becomes president, right? They have, they're the majority. I think they're like 60% of the population. They're pushing white people and anti-whiteness to levels where it's gonna... Wait, wait, you, this is the important about history. You need to know about history, what has happened in the past. That way you know exactly. We're going to be talking about the Jewish uh, Holocaust. Uh, we're going to uh, be talking about, br just briefly, what happened in Africa, in Rwanda. I, I found this out a couple of months ago. I didn't even know about this genocide that happened in uh, Ro Rwanda. Race-based genocide. Because they're pushing race-based agendas. They're separating people. You belong to this group. You belong to another group. You belong to another group. Let's get into the meat of the, the, the show today. The shooting that happened in Georgia. Uh, obviously, the, the reason. Why do people look for reasons in, the, in these things? There's only one reason, and then there's an excuse. The reason is that this guy was an evil individual. There is no other reason. Don't look. There is none. The guy is an evil individual. He gave himself over to the dark side and decided to commit these murders, plain and simple. Now, what is the excuse? The excuse. The excuse is that he had, quote unquote, some type of um, temptation in these locations. Uh, and he committed that, according to the police report. And we got another police report, but the uh, uh, police officers that are investigating the case. And I'm gonna play you the video that way you guys see. But there's individuals who are also evil individuals who want to take up opportunities like this, and they want to exploit them for their own political gains. They don't give. They don't care, right? They really don't care. So they're trying to build this as an anti-Asian attack. I'm not seeing an anti-Asian attack. Not even the police is seeing an anti-Asian attack. This guy had a, he frequented these places where sadly he said he wanted to take out this sexual sin that he had, right? I um, mean, on top of that, like he, he visited church soon. But they want to build this as white supremacists, as anti-Asian white supremacy, which none of that is proven. That's all speculation. That's all blue anon stupidity. That's right, blue anon. Conspiracy theories, theories, they, they just all... Con con conspiracy, right? Is that the word? About uh, what they think. Look at this individual right here. This guy is called, his name is Mike Barnacle. I have no idea who this clue is, but I just take what he says. It's about a two-minute clip. And I, I and a guy want you to see what this guy says. And he blames it on, on, on th this man is going to become like, uh, like, like the Bigfoot of the Democratic Party, like uh, the aliens of the Democratic Party. Donald J. Trump, incredibly. He, he, he wants to say that Donald J. Trump has some type of input in what happened in Atlanta. Look at this. Moving forward, keep that line moving, go forward into the future. But we open this segment uh, with a clip of the former president speaking. We've been talking about things that have been existent in America for quite some time, but enhanced over the last four years with the presidential seal of approval given to intolerance, given to fear, given to suspicion, given to anger, given to saying very little about racial strife in this country and the causes of it, never addressing it, of, of lying. Is this, is this white? I, I'm, I'm still trying to wait, guys. I ask you, especially the white people, is this white guilt at display? Like, I've never seen a race in my life, to be honest, probably more down on their own people like the white people, to be honest, over the last couple of, uh, of, of years or months. Of lying about nearly everything you can imagine, from the dangers of the virus to the dangers of racial animosity and what it's doing to our country. And the root of it is in the former president's four years, in his language and in his behavior. This guy must have not been alive when Obama, this, this, all this stuff started under Obama. And I remember, I wasn't into politics when this started, but I, you know how I, I know they started under Obama. I, I looked in, into, I remember seeing the images of Baltimore and some thug on top of, or, or a burnt car, police car. I'm like, this is America? And then I started to look into it. We're like, what's going on? All this animosity, 
started under the president that had a golden ticket to fix race relations in the United States of America. And instead of fixing them and instead of being great, the, the big uniter, he decided to be the huge divider. Before Obama, we never talked about race. Never. After Obama, it's like we're, we're in the Civil War and, and that's where it's leading, right? And we're still living it. We're still playing it out and it affects us every day. Now, Donald Trump didn't pull the trigger in Atlanta, but mm. Donald Trump certainly was responsible for the anger and the fear and the suspicion that exists in, in great degree in this country, much more so than ever in the past. And uh, he's not to blame for a history of uh, racial strife in this country, but he certainly is to be blamed for enhancing it with his inaction and his cowardice in addressing it. We're talking about rigged elections now. We're still talking about January 6th. All of that is the gift that keeps on giving, presented to us by a man who never, ever should have been president. And the stain of his presidency is still in existence today. And I fear how long it's going to last. I mean, the job that Joe yeah. Biden has in, is enormous enough. But dealing with the underbelly of all these causes it, it only adds to the degree of difficulty. Guys, straight up lying. But th this is what these people are, right? He has no idea why this happened. The police has came out and they, and they said that because what I said in the beginning, right? And he just, for, for some reason, he's blaming it on Donald J. Trump. I hate to be a Trump apologist. I don't, I don't want to be a Trump apologist. How are you going to blame Trump for this, man? I mean, I, like, I just don't get it. Like, these people are, they, they, they live, they li live, breathe Donald J. Trump. Look at this. This is the reason he did it, according to the police. You don't know Mike Barnacle. You don't know what, what the reason he did this. this. This evil human being. Look what it says here. The man charged with murder for, shooting, uh, for a shooting spree at Atlanta area spa has had a really bad day and was uh, this uh, obviously that, that brought up actually um, that was also another problem because of the way the guy said, right, that he was having a bad day. But he said, uh, look what it says, and was seeking to eliminate a sexual temptation prior to killing eight people. That'll, that's the facts. He was looking to eliminate a sexual temptation according to what the police know right now. So that's him, right, that they're criticizing because he used the word that he was having a, a really bad day. Okay, okay. How about another, another person? Let me see here. Look at this guy right here. In terms of this tragic incident and to ascertain all the facts uh, so we can have a successful prosecution because that's what's most important now. I, again, I would just say that, uh, unfortunately, they were at that location. I can't say that he specifically targeted those individuals. You heard that they, they're saying that this is an, an they, that's how they're building it already. They're saying, no, this was anti-Asian. No, look, the cop is telling you that he cannot say that he went to look for those people. Asian people. He, the cop can't tell you. So where do these people get this? Oh, from the hate that these people have. They're, these pe individuals are not logical. When uh, hate is running in, through their veins and through their heart, they, and they want to blame a person who was thousands of miles away from there. That, To be honest, that's, if you love justice, that's just not fair. To be honest, when the people that are investigating don't know the reason, the exact reason, right? But the other person that has no idea, no clue, they just have a, a political uh, agenda and a feeling. Ben Shapiro said, facts don't care about your feelings, Mr. Barnacle. But look what the police keep saying. Look. Uh, but again. You know, what I will say is that he did frequent, as the question keeps coming up, that he did frequent those two uh, locations uh, in, within Atlanta. Okay, so the guy did go to those uh, locations in Atlanta. And so it matches up with what the guy said, the, the previous officer said, which is, uh, let me see here, this officer right here, uh, who's another controversy for what he said and actually got taken off of being the spokesperson for the case. It matches up with what he said, which is that he wanted to eliminate a sexual temptation. And obviously, a lot of people know exactly what goes on in a lot of those um, massage parlors. Um, I think, what, what was it? Um, Bob Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, got caught up on some type of massage parlor scandal. Everybody knows what's going on. I mean, so th that make, it makes sense. 